let's click on create and this is our work area this is where the magic happens um, on this side you have your workspace on this right side on the left side you have a tiny little window and this is where your your uh, your game actually occurs this is where everything happens so you kind of this is kind of like the background the back end and this is the front side the front end of your project so if you look at this uh, these numbers down here you have the X and the Y coordinate we are going to be talking about this the grid I call it the grid um, this is an X and Y line running here and so every time you move your mouse those numbers change accordingly so um, let's start by uh, looking at the tools and there are a lot and um, I usually have uh, students do these uh, things do these this is like a week-long project here um, and so you have tools on top of tools so we'll start this one for this one for example this is the duplicate tool if you were to click it on the cat you will add another one so you just have an army of cat eventually you know so um, on the next right next to it we have the scissors or the delete you click on that and you will see that you will delete the cat next to that we have the grow or expand I like to call it expand it makes things bigger and next to that we have to shrink or minimize it you shrink it and then these are questions if you have any questions there's uh there's help everywhere so there's no reason for you to struggle too much you can search for help you can google it you can come over here you can ask me I'm here to help um, right here now we have scripts we have costumes and we have sounds. so let's talk about scripts for right now we'll do the rest and that will be in time I just don't want to overload you with too much information right now so you have motion looks sounds pens data events control sensing operations operators and more blocks and we'll be using the motions blocks and the way these work is that uh, for example the event this is going to be an important one we're going to use this one a lot because like I said to start a game you need to click the green flag this is like this the the, uh, the start uh, um, button on on games you need these so we're going to use this a lot so for example when the green flag is clicked uh, you will like to have the cat go to a specific point and like I said whatever you move your mouse so for example you want to move the cat to this location look at the X and Y numbers so let's just do it as an example because this is going to be something we'll need to do later um, so let's see look at this how we have X and Y numbers and they're moving so let's look and see if we can remember uh, what if we could get it to the origin so origin is zero zero that's where the X and Y meet that's where they intersect I can't get my mouse to zero it's kind of hard all right so let's just 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 you know let's just write it let's just put zero and zero and so when I click the green flag the cat no matter where the cat is if you click the and drag the cat away here and you click the green flag the cat will go to X zero Y zero which is somewhere here in the middle that is called the origin so let's say uh, let's click it did you see that okay let's just drag the cat again somewhere and it's going to go to zero zero so it's somewhere in the middle here so we're going to click the green flag and he go there he goes or she i don't know the cat might be a he or she um let's see now okay so that was just an example on how to use these blocks so as you can see we are going to be using this green flag a lot and then some of these the control sensing um sound looks and motions i don't think we're going to get into pen data and operators unless you ask me to um, we'll look into those but uh, for the sense of this project let's keep going let's go back to scripts and let's put it on the motion blocks 